Today, I'll show you the easiest free method to add discount codes to your WordPress site. So, this is my e-commerce site. And if a customer adds a product and then goes to checkout, they'll see this coupon field where they can add the coupon. And then here, the discount will be added like this. I'll also show you how to add conditions for when and how these coupon codes can be used. Also, I'll show you how to display your coupon code with a countdown timer like this on your site. This video is a complete guide. And don't worry, even if you're a non-technical person, you'll easily be able to follow the steps. My name is Rohan Julian Francis. Welcome to our channel. and Let's begin. The first step before we add any new features to our site is to check our website speed. Otherwise, we add a whole bunch of things that won't load properly later and mess up everything else. Most people don't even realize that some of their pages aren't loading properly for their customers. So let's just take a moment. Let's go and open a new tab and type Google PageSpeed. Then let's go and click on PageSpeed Insights. So here we need to paste our website URL and then it will tell us our website speed. So let's go back to our site, copy the URL, come back and paste it here and then click analyze. Now you can see that the site score is quite low because a decent score generally looks like this. It's in the 90s and the other numbers are also green, not red. This low speed score happens because our site slows down as we add more content, plugins and other things to it. Now, if you've gotten a good score like this, you can skip to the next chapter. But if you've got a score less than 90, then we need to first fix this before adding any new features to our site. Don't worry, it will take just a few seconds. You can go to the description and click on the link. and That should take you to this website. Don't worry, this is 100% free. You'll also see my face here because we've built this so you can trust that it actually works. Just click sign up here, add your email. Now paste your website URL here and click here. Now download the plugin and you can see that a zip file has downloaded. Then go back to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, then add new and drop this folder. Then install the plugin and activate it. If you go back to PageSpeed Insights and analyze this again, you'll now see the improved score is above 90. And LF will keep your site fast even if you add more elements to it. Now, let's first enable the coupons feature on our website. For this, we'll go to our WordPress dashboard and hover over WooCommerce. Now, you should see the settings option here. Let's click on it and scroll down to enable coupons. So let's check that and save the changes by clicking here. Now let's create a first coupon by going to marketing and select the coupons option. Now once you're here, you can see the knowledge base, which contains blogs on how to create coupons or the latest WooCommerce coupon features. Here you can also see the create first coupon button. So let's click on it and insert a coupon code here. So for this example, I'll use uh, welcome 10 for a 10% discount. Now below this section, we can see quite a few options and toggles. The general tab holds all the primary options that we'll be looking into in more detail and the usage restriction and the usage limit tabs basically do what they mean. Uh, you can set up restrictions on coupons and limits to ensure they only work when they are intended to work. That being said, let's decide on the discount type that we want to offer for the welcome 10 coupon. So you see that there are three options. Percentage discount allows you to set up a percentage amount that gets deducted from the total bill. Fixed card discount means that regardless of the number of items purchased, a set amount is subtracted from the total bill. Finally, the fixed product discount means that a specific amount of money is deducted from that specific product. So for this coupon, I'm going to go and choose percentage discount and then specify the rate, which in this case is 10. So this means that customers using this coupon will receive a 10% deduction from the total bill. So after doing this, simply click publish and our coupon is now active and ready for our customers to use. So to verify this, let's visit our checkout page and you should see that the coupon option is now visible. I've added a product here and we can see the total value. So now when I add welcome 10 and apply it, you'll notice that we're getting a 10% deduction from the total bill. Now let's see how we can set up a discount that only applies when customers spend a certain amount. This way, the discount is available only to the customers who meet the minimum spending requirement. To use this, let's navigate back to the coupon editing section and choose this coupon. Now to specify a minimum purchase amount, click on the usage restriction and input the minimum total that customers need to reach to be eligible for the discount. For example, let's set the minimum at 100. 
Now, if you want the coupon to be used only once per customer, set the usage limit to one and then update the changes. Moreover, we can select an expiry date for our coupons. So let's go to the general section. Post this date, the coupon becomes invalid. So now with that done, this coupon will only be valid when the customer's total bill amount is 100 or more. We can also check the individual use only box to ensure that our coupon cannot be stacked with other coupons. Here we can also choose the products or specific product categories that we want the coupon to work on. So just click here and choose the product like this. And I don't want to limit this coupon to specific products, so I'm going to skip that and hit update here. Now to test the coupon, let's go back to the checkout page. And as you can see, the cart's total is under 100. And if the customer tries to apply the coupon, it will not work because the minimum threshold is not met. But if we go back and add more items, and now the total is above 100, then we apply the coupon and it will now be accepted and the discount will be applied. Now let's look at how we can offer a fixed discount coupon. This is great if you want to make some money on larger orders, but still retain the customer base. So to set up this type of discount, let's return to the coupon page, create a new coupon like flat 50 off and select fixed card discount. Then enter the discount value such as 50 and then hit the publish button. Now with this, the coupon will result in a 50 rupee deduction from the total bill. Now, another cool thing we can do is to restrict coupons to just prepaid methods. This means your customers won't be able to use the coupon for any cash on delivery orders. So to do so, let's go to our WordPress dashboard, click on add new plugins option. Now search for WooCommerce extended coupon and install and activate this plugin. Then let's go to the coupons tab, select the coupon we want to edit. Now, as you can see, we've gotten some new tabs here. So let's click on the checkout tab. Now we have these options to choose from. So I'm just going to exclude the free shipping option here and then include the prepaid payment method. You can also scroll down to customize the customer restriction options, but I'm going to skip those as I want this coupon to be available to everyone. So I'm going to hit update. Now to see this in action, let's go back to the checkout page, then enter the flat 50 off and we get a 50 rupee discount. All right, now let's see how we can set up a BOGO, which is a buy one, get one offer. So to do that, let's head back to our WordPress dashboard Go to plugins, click add new, then search for the advanced coupons plugin, install it, then activate it. Now let's hover over coupons and click on the dashboard. Now we can click on new BOGO coupon and create a new coupon called BOGO like this. And finally, I just need to select the products of which I want to offer the discount. So for that, I'll click here. I'm going to go with the t-shirt offer. So I'll select that the customer needs to buy this t-shirt to get one more for free. After that, I'm going to save the coupon by clicking here. And now it's going to be active on my website. So let's go back to the checkout page. And as you can see, I've added a t-shirt here. Now, once I apply the coupon BOGO, I get the other t-shirt completely free. Now that's done. We can also check the analytics of the coupons and track their usage. So to do so, let's jump back to the dashboard, go to the analytics button and click on coupons. Now this page shows you all the information on the coupons your customers have used. So as you can see, flat 50 off was used and we can see the amount of times it's been used before. You can also see the total amount and the date that the coupon was used. This way you can track the most used coupons on your site and ensure you're offering the best deal for your customers. All right, now let's see how we can showcase the coupons on our website. Specifically, we're going to configure a coupon in a pop-up form like this on the checkout page and a banner like this with a countdown timer right on your homepage. So to do this, Let's head to a website called Convertful. You can find the link in the description below. Once you've clicked on it, we'll come to this page. Click on Get Started. Now enter your email address and click Create Free Account. Now just fill out your name, username and password details and click on Continue. Once that's done, we can enter our domain name, select WordPress and then choose e-commerce. Then click on Add Site. Now we can connect our Convertful account to our website by installing the Convertful plugin on our website. So for that, let's go to our dashboard, go to plugins and search for Convertful. Install and activate this plugin. Now select connect to Convertful and approve the connection. All right, now after successfully linking Convertful with your WordPress site, the next step in showcasing your coupon is to create a pop-up. So let's go and click on create widget 
and select a pop-up form from the templates here. So I'm going to use this one for our site and click on create pop-up here. Now you can see, we can see what the pop-up will look like on our site. So I can go here, change the coupon code to say welcome 10. Now let's click here, check this box. This means that whenever a customer intends to leave our checkout page, the form should pop up and show the coupon. Now you can configure the different parameters here, but I'm just going to skip them for now. Save changes and activate the pop-up like this. All right, finally, let's set up the coupon on our home page with a countdown timer. To do so, let's go back to Convertful, click on Create Widget and scroll down to the deadline bar templates here. I'll select this and click on Create Floating Bar. I'm going to increase the countdown timer like this and add my coupon code here. Now I'm going to configure the display rules. For example, if you want this form to appear as visitors scroll down, we can choose this option and you can disable any irrelevant options like this, save the changes and activate the form. Now our coupon pop-up and banner are ready to appear on our site. So let's test them out by going back to our website and then scrolling down and you can see a coupon appears here with a countdown timer. Now let's go to the checkout page. I'm going to try to exit. Boom, there's a discount code. Okay, next, you should watch this video where I'll show you how to manage your refunds and cancellations to avoid losing a lot of money. Most people don't prepare for this, so I'd highly recommend you check this video out.